rhinos. Oh. So on the flip side, we picked up the term dino for people like John D. Berry who vote against social justice issues, who vote against the public interest, and are really just vote the way they're funded. And so D. Berry has been funded by a lot of conservative money. Um, Betsy DeVos, Dick DeVos, however you say her name, mm -hmm. the new sec ed, she, uh, her organization, American Federation for Children, um, donated, I think, over $30,000 to him. American Their, Federation? Yeah, American yes, Federation for Children. Wow. But they, mm -hmm. they set up um, a statewide pack. Mm -hmm. So they had Tennessee Federation for Children. Mm -hmm. um, so it was an uphill battle. I was a relative unknown, uh, you know, in the district. Mm -hmm. The people who knew me knew me through um, mostly this organizing and social justice. And there was mm -hmm. a lot of questions whether I could flip from the Black Lives Matter girl to someone who was representative of the entire district. We had a really late surge where, like, we thought we had it right at the end. Mm -hmm. And we came within 600 votes of, um, yeah, uh, 600 votes of of taking the seat. So I got like 2,070 something votes and he got like 2,700. See, I think we, I'll be a campaign manager. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but 4,000 people came out to vote in a 65,000 registered voter district. In a what? 65,000 people are registered to vote, 4,000 people showed up. Wow. Those 4,000 wow. people, I mean, he didn't, he didn't campaign. Wow. Except for mailing. So we did most of the groundwork with a relatively underfunded campaign. So compared to his hundred and something, his hundred eight thousand dollars that he had in the bank, we started with zero. Mm -hmm. We raised twenty eight, uh, almost thirty, in four months, and the majority of the money came in the last two weeks. All you need is passion. And so, uh, you know, it took me a while to get here, but to achieve what we did achieve, um, you know, I really do believe that uh, he's now, you know, on the clock. Uh, right. Hello. So I think um, I told you downstairs when we were, you know, briefing a little bit. That was the first time I heard about you. I started seeing, uh, uh, saw you. I think you was in Focus mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, Mac Magazine, and um, I think I saw uh, they did a fundraiser for you in uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. Cole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he sent uh, some invites out, and you know, we was trying to get you know uh, busy and, and make sure we kind of get involved, but I, I, I agree, but I think now that you're really, really laying the foundation and remaining visible and vigilant and outspoken, because that's what we're missing yeah. in, in this city right now, uh, a voice. Uh, a voice that is really, really for the people and not won't back down and won't back off. And so many, so much we see that once people are elected and they get in the position, their hands get tied. And I don't know, because I've never been a politician, but I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but something goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. So, and it's stopping, <laughs> it's stopping out our progress as a people, you know, because if you think about it, you have our council and our county commissioner, and those are a limited number of people that make decisions for almost a million people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's crazy. It's like, I'm voting for my peers and my constituents. No, you're not. Well, hold on. That's good for me. No, keep, going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, because we're going we gonna to run out of time. We got to pay some bills. Okay. Well, we got to pay bills. We'll be right back. Hold that thought. We're going to talk about the Uncle Tom to take the money and the dinosaurs. We'll be right back. I'm just following for the call. This is the only one the radio show, the baddest show, KWAM 999 Talk Radio. We'll be right back after this pause for the calls. The dinosaurs. That's not the song. I didn't do it this way. I'm working on it. Except for the guy. So mad. I had I got the move. It's a shame you don't treat me right. And I stay proud of God. Girl, I work as a Mattress is only good for eight years. If your mattress is older than eight, you should consider the Mattress King, offering name brand mattresses with bargain prices. Delivery available for only fifty dollars. Sleep good tonight on a new mattress from the Mattress King. Call Ray Bell at nine zero one four eight zero two four seven one. That's nine zero one four eight zero two four seven one. Tell him the Unleashed Voice sent you. 
In Memphis, condoms are free from Planned Parenthood and their friends all over town. Nothing sexier than free. So check out freecondomsmemphis.org and get some. Want to talk about sex? Talk about condoms at freecondomsmemphis.org. Get some before you get some. Freecondomsmemphis.org. This is the city. This is their story. Some names have been changed, and so many lives have been changed, too. They're going to give you the facts, just the facts. Some call this a city of crime. When they're done, it's going to be the city of the cares a lot. This is the city of Memphis, Tennessee, where fearless, inspired, on fire, hungry radical revolution news has transformed hearts and minds. Not with weapons, but with their own brand of compassion, integrity, and hard work. I, I may, I may try All they're asking another, is for you to I'm join the movement. 18, I think. It's easy to join with a donation of twenty dollars, fifteen, or one hundred dollars. And it's all for the nonprofit organization Relationships Unleashed. With this donation, you will help enhance the three core principles of education, empowerment, and enrichment to the LGBTQ community and its allies. Go to www.relationshipunleashed.com on the World Wide Web. Relationshipunleashed.com. All donations are tax yeah. Come on, join the movement. <laughs> By the way, I don't need a badge or a gun. I carry a microphone. I said, come need the move and go to another good code. Go get tested for HIV AIDS because HIV AIDS has become the third leading cause of death among African Americans between the ages of 25 and 34. Even more surprising is the fact that this disease has become the leading cause of death for African American women between the ages of 25 and 34. The spread of HIV AIDS is the single greatest health crisis currently confronting African Americans. Join the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporated each Sunday at 12.30 p.m. for our spirit Field worship service and each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our Bible study. You do not want to miss these power pack services. We are a church for all people, and we welcome you as we transform the Memphis culture. The church is located inside Bun Presbyterian Church at 561 South Prescott Street, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Dr. Darnell Goose, Jr., Senior Pastor of the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis Incorporated, and I hope to see you there. Choices Last is a nonprofit sexual health clinic in Midtown Memphis. We accept ten care and out. offer patient assistance to help pay for needed services. Huh. Choices is proud to provide comprehensive yes. reproductive health services in an LGBTQ affirming environment. Like we that. offer a wide That's range of services such as general wellness, fertility assistance, STI testing and treatment, reproductive health today. services for people living with HIV, including PrEP and PEP, birth control, Gardasil vaccinations, yeah. abortion nah. services, mis. Marriage hey, management and yeah. services for trans and right. people, oh, including hormone three, replacement therapy. Two, Everybody needs two, choices. Sex game matter. This it. This is my song. Sex game matter. Texting me up. Yeah. Fuck that thing. I got the moves. I got the moves. So what did you have for the last time? I, I had a. Uh, I don't know. She I love this song. <laughs> yeah, right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you are the move. You are the move. You are the move. She made it too. We back. I made the city move. I made the city move. I'm over here twerking. I got the moves, Tammy. I got to make that back move. Mm. Make that back move. Make that back. This is only Sports Radio Show on KWAM 990. Where we make that back move. Why are you trying make to get that back move. Make that yeah. back move. Child, we gotta get this interview. When every time somebody do like this, they keep them back move. <laughs> <laughs> and we back. Well, we educate the power in a richer community. Join us on February 27th. Our nonprofit organization, Relationship Unleashed. We're gonna be giving our workshop, free workshop on unleashing your vision. We're doing innovative things here in Memphis. Uh, uh, innovative disruption. And we're doing it right here in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're being unapologetic, and this is what we do, and we're here to stay, and ain't going nowhere. Make sure you get your magazine also if you don't have one. Make sure you get your magazine. Make sure you get your magazine. Make sure you get your magazine. <laughs> we're going to dive on into this commercial. All right, and we're, we're back. Into our interview. We want to make sure that we <laughs> get like, everything we want to talk about. Now, I'm going to uh, table mine. 
but uh, we run some. We we'll be here all night. Make sure we get everything going. So tell me, you know, one one of the reasons that uh, I, I sought out the the interview with you because I see your passion mm -hmm. and uh, you're very outspoken. Mm -hmm. and you got this little kind of quirky sense of humor too. So, <laughs> quirky, 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 quirky. quirky. Yeah, she, quirky. Oh, she said quirky. That's not the first time you I said. Correct your mommy. You talking about dinosaurs? I'm not his mom. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so one question I want to ask you, I'm going to jump off of this, because I know you can do it. So, what do you think, why do you think we've fallen behind our white counterparts here in the city of Memphis? Wow. Um, and continue to fall. Continue. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that come into play. Well, I talked to some girls today with the Delta Academy, and um, we were at Booker T. Washington. And just driving over there, you know, as you're driving down Danny Thomas, and then I cut over um, Mississippi Boulevard and, and watching, like, the pavement change. So That's the roads went from paved. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's my grandfather and my great uncle's alma mater as well. And even walking through there, Dr. Benjamin Hooks, mm -hmm. Amy C. O. Walker. I mean, yep. esteemed institution should be the highlight of Shelby County Schools. W.W. Right, Harrington? Yep. Yeah. But our black history has been erased, mm -hmm. or is being ignored, is allowed to crumble. Mm -hmm. So we are not educating ourselves and each other. Uh, part of that is there's a lot of hopelessness. There's a lot of it apathy. Is. Is. Um, so we have to work to build back up our collective self-esteem. I agree. I don't. I'm not one of those people. I don't blame people when they make bad decisions. I try to look at the root of it. Yes. I try to look at the systemic root of yes. it. Yes. Um, Yes, we are personally responsible. If I pick up a gun and I shoot and kill somebody, that's my responsibility. But if we take a whole group of people and we look at the issues, yes. we can draw a connective line. Yes. So this hopelessness, especially with our young kids and, yes. and our boys, and it's not even our boys anymore, it's our girls too. Mm -hmm. I mean, our kids, period. Um, we're looking at third or fourth generation of hopelessness. One thing that post-slavery we had as a people, we had a lot of hope. Yes. Um, and we had a lot of Christian faith. Yes. So I don't really consider myself as a, I'm not a practicing Christian. I don't go to church every Sunday. Um, I pray a whole lot, but. Let me uh, help you. Hell, some of the Christians that go to church every Sunday, <laughs> full of hell and, and some more stuff, but go ahead. But, you Hold know. On. Let me put my call on. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, don't get me started about these Christians, but go ahead. What I feel like that did for us, for better or worse, was a lot of people held on to a lot of hope. Uh -huh. And that hope, you know, we've kind of blanketed it, it being lost. Are you really? Is your brother calling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got, look. I'm going to sob you. <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> Go ahead, but that, that hope started to die out. It, these destructive policies. Hello. Right? So, um, you had families paying into mortgages that ended up not being mortgages. Absolutely. Um, paying taxes in their neighborhoods not being taken care of. Uh -oh. um, working hard only to find out at 80 they had nothing in the bank because the bank had taken it. Uh -oh. um, then we wonder how why it was so easy to drop drugs in the community. Oh. My grandma had universal life insurance for like 30 years and when she died it was still worth $1,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, so. and so things got worse and worse and worse have gotten that way because we've lost this hope. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not making excuses for anyone, but if we look at this is this is why we should be fighting yes. with policy. Yes. This is why we should be fighting with protests. Yes. This is why we should be fighting with votes. Yes. Because politics, capitalism, um, mm -hmm. have shaped the lives of black Americans. Absolutely. And if we don't take over uh, our rightful ownership of these things, mm -hmm. uh, segregation sh was for equality. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what segregation did was made us even more unequal because they said, okay, we're going to let you in these places. We're going to take our money out of it. But, you know, my granddad always said that. Mm -hmm. I mean, not my granddad, his granddad, my father, always said that that was really, really one of the worst things yeah. uh, for us. It, and, it, and it was. I mean, we should be allowed to do whatever we want and go wherever we want. But when we pushed, we got this backlash that was financial, and I don't think we were prepared for that. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of times, the, the backlash was usually and probably associated with a lot of people not really being uh, educated on finances. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, because you have second and third grade, second and third year generation 
of financial right. ignorance. A lot of people don't know. And so, so these banks and the government, mm -hmm. when people talk about reparations, if you read Ta-Nehisi Coates, A Case for Reparations, in 